Mike's Tax 2 results, just drawn under government supervision. A quarter of a million people greet the historic First Fleet reenactment in Botany Bay. And Melbourne's Anne Minter scores the biggest win of her career, eliminating Pam Shriver from the Australian Open. Seven Nightly News with Jennifer Kite and Glenn Taylor. Good evening. Also disturbing revelations about the sorry state of care in Victoria's nursing homes. And a near riot angers young fans trying to buy tickets for a George Michael concert. First guidelines for aerobatics could be changed because of the weekend's air tragedy over Portsea. Bureau of Air Safety officials today viewed seven nightly news vision of the mid-air crash that killed aerobatic ace Victor Klein. Later they warned they may have to revise their laws when detailed investigation of the horror is completed. This is the dramatic vision screened on seven nightly news on Saturday. Today as part of a detailed investigation, members of the Bureau of Air Safety viewed the tape. Ken Williams says the Sky Dancers had a spotless safety reputation. Does it surprise you then that something like this has happened, especially considering their reputation? Yes, it's a surprise. To Tats Lotto now, now at Tats Lotto now, and draw number 677. There were six the next week's cross country championships. And for tonight, Jen, that is all from the sports desk. And Peter, another great day at the tennis centre. Yes, it has been, and of course, uh, some great tennis tonight too, because Queenslander John Frawley has a chance to move into the quarterfinals. And who are you tipping for the men's singles finals? Lindell. Lindell? Mm, Lindell, uh, if Cash can get past him, he's got it. Oh, well, we'll try and see what happens. Mm. Thanks, Peter. Certainly going to be a great weekend. And you've got some good weather, Paul, coming up tomorrow. Yes, Glenn, not looking too bad at all. It's warming up and plenty of sunshine on the way. We'll bring you a story that I guarantee will be the talking point in hotels, restaurants, sporting venues, wherever people gather to drink. So, expect the unexpected. I'm Darren Hinch. Good evening. A good looking start to the work week with the sun breaking through around lunchtime and a decent wind there too to get the washing dry. Warm again in northern Victoria with Wangaratta recording the state's top of 30 degrees. After a coolish 16.6 overnight in Melbourne, we reach a top of 21 just after 1 o'clock. Right now, the seven weather station is still showing that fresh south to southwesterly breeze, and it's currently 18 degrees. The cloud south of the bite is associated with a weak trough, and also this cold front, which is south of Western Australia. Any cloud that's over Victoria should break up tomorrow, uh, and earlier than today too, with a warmer northerly airflow becoming established as this high pressure system moves slowly southeasterly. The only dark spot on the horizon is this cold front, which is right over here to the uh, west of Western Australia, which may bring a change late on Wednesday. Fine in all capitals tomorrow with a sizzling 34 in Adelaide, 30 in Brisbane, 26 for Perth, and they might scrape up to around 19 in Hobart. The Victoria fine and sunny after local morning fog in the south, still very warm to hot in the northern part of the state, with a fire danger height of very high over the north and west. Winds tending easterly on the bays with sea breezes of up to 15 knots during the afternoon and waves of around 1.5 metres in open waters. For Melbourne, a chance to rejuvenate last week's fading tan. It's going to be fine, warm and sunny after some early cloud. Our top 27 after 15 overnight tonight. Looking ahead, a scorcher coming up Wednesday ahead of a late change and then fine and cooler for Thursday and Friday. Temperatures in the low 20s. Glenn. Thanks very much, Paul. Well, uh, Jennifer, it's, um, that's the news for now, really, isn't it? It certainly is. Have you managed to uh, see any of the tennis yet? I'm looking forward very much to catching the semi-finals at that wonderful new centre. Well, that should be good Saturday this weekend, and, and according to Paul, the weather will be fine, so it should be perfect for tennis. Right. OK. And it's not as hot as many people suspect it is on the actual ground. On well, the let's hope not. I mean, it should be a fairly mild weekend, which should be good. OK, and Darren Hinch coming up next. And, of course, our live coverage of the tennis continues tonight after a country practice. Thanks for having us at your place. See you again tomorrow night. But for now from us, good, good night. The defending champion in the women's singles, Hannah Mendlikova. Should be a great match. Fantastic. Thanks, Peter.
And Paul, uh, talking of tennis, it's going to be rather warm for those players tomorrow. It certainly will be at first, Glenn. Up until around about lunchtime, a hot day with a top of 35 before a late cool change. I'll have the details after the break. I'm Darren Hitch. Hello again. Blue skies, sunshine and a cool sea breeze today, keeping the temperature down and the goosebumps up on those who ventured to the beach. It was warmer in the northeast of the state though, with the highest maximum of 32 shared by Albury Wodonga and Beechworth. After 16.2 overnight, the mercury in Melbourne climbed to 23.1 at 2.40 this afternoon. On the 7 weather station, we're still registering that southerly breeze at around 17 kilometres per hour and it's 22 degrees outside. The satellite photo shows some, some jet stream cloud just here over the bite at the moment and also some middle and high level cloud just south of the bite associated with a cold front. Now that front's going to move across Victoria tomorrow but before that a hot northerly will result from the high pressure system to our east. Interstate a sultry Wednesday is expected in Sydney with a top of 28 degrees. Uh, morning showers in Brisbane with 30 and 30 is also forecast in Perth with fine weather. For Victoria tomorrow a hot day with a fresh northerly wind ahead of a cool change coming up during the afternoon. Maybe just one or two showers with the change south of the divide and the fire danger very high to extreme ahead of the change. A southerly wind overnight on the bays turning north northwesterly at between 15 and 20 knots tomorrow and a southwesterly change blowing through during the afternoon of around 20 to 25 knots. For Melbourne, a return to hot weather, if only briefly, with a top of 35 forecast just before a change, somewhere between noon and 4pm, and maybe a brief shower or two expected with it. By Thursday, just a few clearing showers, fine on Friday, but more wet weather expected for Saturday. Jennifer. Thank you, Paul. And finally, another look at the main stories tonight. The outcry continues over Telecom's determination to introduce time charge local telephone calls. And home loan interest rates tip to rise following an improvement in the economy shown by how December trade figures. We'll be back with seven nightly news tomorrow night. Thanks for having us at your place. Good, Good night. night.